Hi, my name is Wayne Ariola of Parasoft Corporation, and I want to talk to you about service virtualization and specifically for mobile application development. So, what happens when your app starts to stutter or doesn't quite do what a user expects it to do? Within 0.4 seconds, people either A, 43% of people will abandon the transaction, 16% of people will go to a competitor. 14% of the people will actually log a complaint with customer service that your app doesn't work, and 12% of people will go directly to a competitor. And this is per a Harris 2011 poll of app users. The interesting thing about mobile applications is the user experience matters. But what can we do to better develop mobile apps? Well, in order to better develop, develop mobile apps, we actually have to have a simulated development and test environment. And this is where service virtualization and Parasoft Virtualize comes in. With service virtualization, we can not only simulate specific latencies associated with telco networks, but we can also simulate the endpoints associated with the REST or JSON or service-based calls that your mobile application is reaching into. In my opinion, and I, I know this is a little bit of a stretch, but in my opinion, you really can't do mobile application development without adding network and or service latency into your development environment. Because you're gonna make trade-off decisions to make your app more efficient during the development process based on these type, this type of, of feedback. Also, when it comes to performance testing, you're gonna better understand how, what the user experience is gonna be associated with that application. Whether it's loading, whether it's the network latency, whether it's the actual service latency associated with the application. If you'd like more information, please come to www.parasoft.com, check out our service virtualization research material, and we'd be happy to help you. Thank you very much.